And if you think about ball contact time, how many, how often is a player on the ball in a game? Did anyone have a guess at minutes? Well, the best players about two minutes out of ninety. So, with regards to football, with regards to what's happening off the ball and away from the ball, you would deem that the other eighty-eight minutes are quite important. And what we get is we get lads just following each other from all from five yards past them. We don't have to accept what will happen, but we just get rid of the practice and we try and influence behaviour as we go. Think about your last practice. <laughs> And I want you to identify how many moments in that practice replicated a situation in a game. And the chances are, if it replicates that situation in a game, the guys and girls are going to be prepared. The constraint of playing is we've got to have a pass in each channel, which leads to a more in possession phase and keep in possession. Okay, stop there, stop there. That man here, he's got to be aware of him, but he's dangerous as well. So you want to be effective in to recover a bit early, and you could recover as well, but it's a little bit too late. It's important for me as the coach that I don't try and fill them with a hundred different things to think about on a match day. We've been working on combination, what does that mean, what will it look like on the pitch? Sometimes we try to counter that things, okay, we're going to do passing forward this week, we're going to do defending next week. But to add the intricacies of passing forward and forward movements and combination play could be a six week to eight week block away. All of them is attributed to attack and play, run up with the ball, ball control, creating space as an individual, creating space as a unit, creating space as a team. Um, attacking in wide areas, forward runs without the ball, all those things could be factored into attack and play. Have you got a, a four week plan, two week plan, six week plan? Would any of you think of your coaching, you can, well, I coach in this particular way and I've got this favoured style? Me, I'm commands. That's not fair. I, I, I love the going in and orchestrating them. That allows us to to move the pitch as big as possible. As coaches, we have to use the coaching continuum as best we can. Commands, you've got guards, it's could be. Reds get together, greens get together. Runners, yeah, runners off of the back pass. Three. You've got observation and feedback, you've got trial and error. Focused on the centre forward, asking them about where they could move and how they could make the pitch big. Thank you. If the ball comes from over there, make sure you can go on to the longest space behind. That makes sense. So if you play a pass that misses out a whole channel, so it's a little bit of a longer pass, then we do score a count of two goals. Repetition, relevance. And realism.